Hello there. Today I'm going to make something that I never made before in the pressure cooker. And I didn't tell Kathy what it is either. She's over there working the camera. But I might figure it out. Let's see. That. This is for later. And this is for later. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm making? It takes measuring cups, three eggs, and a cake mix. <laughs> Super moist. Betty Crocker delights. I'm gonna make a regular cake in my Instant Pot pressure cooker. Okay, wanna see how easy it is? Why am I making this? Wow, that looks, that's going to be great. Why would I make a cake today? Because <laughs> it's my birthday. Oh, <laughs> if you weren't here, you wouldn't know it, would you? It would be a surprise. I am surprised. That's really nice. You think I could juggle? No. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Another surprise. Juggle. Okay, let me show you how easy this is. I got my instant pot pressure cooker. You can make it in any pressure cooker that you have. I'm going to follow the directions on the cake mix, which calls for one cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. But for inside the pressure cooker, I already kind of figured out what I want to do. I have two eight inch cake pans. I have a foil sling that I made to lift it out of. I have a small rack or trivet on the bottom. I'm just gonna add two cups of water. And that's gonna... That will keep the pan off the bottom. I'm gonna lower that in like this. You'll see when I get to that point. You know, then I'm gonna put a steamer basket on top of that, <laughs> and put the other pan on top of that, something like that. You'll see when I get there. This is gonna be fun and exciting. I never did it this way. If you have a bigger pressure cooker, this way or this way, you can set it up differently. Like put a rack in between them. Let's start here. See, heat oven to 350. This is one good thing. We don't have to heat up the kitchen for this. Did you ever make a cake mix? I was talking to myself. Mix cake mix, water, oil and eggs in a large bowl. Mix with mixer on medium speed or beat vigorously by hand for two minutes. So far it's easy. It's gonna be a good cake. Birthday cake. You can do it. Okay. Easy. Oh, I smell strawberry. Oh, yeah. One cup of water. One half a cup of vegetable oil. Oil, oil, oil. Or if you have your own recipe, you can make it. Oh, it's pink in there already. See that? This be the flavor. Flavor's turning pink. Three eggs. One. Three. I'm not sure if that was twins or not. Hope not, then we got four. One, two. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to use my fun old fashioned hand beater. I'm sure you'd like to see that. Vigorously for two minutes.
would be easier with a mixer, wouldn't it? Electric. But this will do it. This is an old Sears brand. Sears. Me and Julie got this at a yard sale. Or flea market. Oh, it's getting stiff. Scrape the edges down. Get my scraper. I like it. it. Smells delicious. I sure got all the powdery mix mixed together there. I couldn't have done it alone. Vigorously. It's hard work. All right, there's no lumps there. It looks good. Okay, so we'll look at the beaters. How much did that make? Four cups. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put two cups in each pan. I'm going to spray these cake pans with Pam. So hopefully it doesn't stick. Two cups. Where is it? Oh, there's three cups. This about two cups and two cups in here. Get it all out. Don't waste none. This is so nice of you. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were here. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> yeah. Or I could just hit you in the face with it like a pie. Like you did to me on pie day. <laughs> Look at this. See? We're okay. Now well, I said I have this sling. So far it was pretty easy, wasn't it? Remember I had the little trivet, two cups of water in the bottom, and you say, why don't you use this sling? Because that's what this is made for, to pull a pan out. Because with these on the sides, it doesn't fit with my pans. But it might fit on your, with your pressure cooker. Make sure that's nice and level. Like this. Yeah, we want it level. Put the first pan down like this, okay? Slide it on the trivet like that. Lower it down, this is so we can get it out at the end without flipping the pressure cooker over. <laughs> See? Now I'm gonna take this steamer basket and put it on top of there. If you had another rack that would fit there, that would be nice. Do you think I have to cover that with foil? So this is gonna go right on top of that pan. I already test fitted it. See, still level. Nice. And this, I'm going to put inside of this steamer basket. Level. As level as it can be. If it leans to the one side, that's all right. We'll just put more icing on the other side. <laughs> I thought about putting another sling here, but I'll just lift it out with my tongs or whatever. Look at that. Take your lid, plug it in so we can hear the dingling music. Put 
put it in pressure mode, which I am. You know what, now that I think of it, with the steam and the water in there, I am going to cover the top layer loosely with foil. The bottom one's covered by the steam basket. We just don't want a lot of water getting on top of there. <clears throat> Fashioned it roundly. Put it on there, just to protect it from any water splashing around. This is the first time I did it, so learn with me. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Still in pressure mode. And other pressure cookers have bake on the front, but mine doesn't, unless I missed it. No, or cake, the other one says. So I'm gonna go manual for 30 minutes. High pressure there, see it's on high already. That's it. Okay, we we'll wait for the pressure to build up and count down 30 minutes and I'll let that pressure out manually. So what do you think about making a nice cake on a hot summer day without turning on any oven? I like the idea. All right, I hope I'm icing it neatly <laughs> and write on it. Where's my writers? We're gonna see, aren't we? I'll show you when it's done. Okay, our time is up two minutes ago. Let the pressure out. I'll be back when that's out. Almost. Boy, it smells good. It smells like strawberry. Remember, I never did this before. Maybe you did. What? What? Fluffy white frosting. Waiting for the safety. There it is. Oh. Mm. It smells baked and strawberry-ish. Whoa, careful. It's hot in there. Oh, I think it came out pretty good. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think for my first cake in a oh Instant Pot pressure out, cooker? They came out as cupcakes. <laughs> Surprise! What happened? Surprise, everyone! Surprise! How did you do that? The pressure cookers are amazing. <laughs> Let's unplug it. We don't need it anymore. Aww. Okay. Now that's a magic trick. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> I made a chocolate one for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice cupcake. <laughs> um, how did that happen? Well, you know what happened to... I'll be honest with you. Here's how the cakes came out. Not really too bad, but not... Kind of flat, you know? Good texture, good flavor, good aroma, but... I don't know. I might have, should have probably maybe covered them up with foil or maybe you know better or maybe that's how they come out in a pressure cooker. What do you think? Maybe. I could have icing them and all that. I got the icing right there. Remember? Anyway, happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope you had a nice day. I had a wonderful day. Okay. Thank you for all the fun. It was nice. I spent time with family and it was great. Oh, make yourself a cake in a pressure cooker. <laughs> I hope they come out like mine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day, everybody. Happy birthday. <laughs>